Greetings. Please, sit next to me. Thank you, Mark. Yes, that'll be all. <sighs> Nothing like the cool, crisp night air that can calm and intrigue all at once. Wouldn't you agree? I prefer the night over the day, much more secluded, giving way to reflection. <laughs> you and your stories. I assume you have confirmed some of your suspicions just by observing. And what conclusions have you come to? Intriguing. I mean nothing ill by it. You just fascinate me, is all. When I think that I just deciphered you, you surprise me. It's an admirable trait. I shall not keep you too long. You are still recovering and need your rest. But I thought... That a little change of pace would help. Nothing too strenuous. Look around. Surely the moonlight is bright enough for you to see. What catches your eye first? Oh, me? Um, I, I, I meant what flower or part of the garden. <laughs> Ah, you cease to amaze me. The gardener spent hours forming and plotting for every tree, every bush, every color, painting a portrait, leading the eye from one section to another. And yet, immediately, you see the hidden beauty of what would take others hours to find. Have you much experience in gardening? Not as much as you let on. So you naturally see the beauty in something that others miss. I wish more people were like you. So many only notice the thorns. They see the rose and appreciate it, but they don't truly see its beauty. I believe that's why gardeners at least to some extent, trick those passing by to stop and actually recognize the elegance before them, a world all unto their own, yet few find it. I wish we could share it with the rest of the world. This world is cruel and would destroy it, whether it be out of disgust for it not being pretty enough or jealous for being prettier than they. A garden would cease to exist either way. I wish that were true, but I've been in this world long enough to know better. It does not change, just the faces. <sighs> Apologies. I didn't mean to be so downcast. When you entered my estate, you said you were on a journey to self-discovery. Have you found yourself? I didn't know if staying in my manner has changed any of your perceptions or if you are any closer to finding yourself. Are you who you want to be? Or at the very least, on the path to becoming that person. Not judging, just curious. Nighttime is a gentle and yet a stern mistress. For those who are willing and brave enough to seek guidance, she gives freely, no matter how harsh the realities or undesirable the outcome may be. She is a keeper of secrets only known to the moon 
into the tormented soul. I've conversed with her many times. Some questions, still waiting for answers. Are you more curious about the questions I have or the possible answers that have yet to be revealed? I suspect that you, like me, must wait for the answer. You see, you need not travel to find yourself. You only need to be still, though I am grateful that you have. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the pleasure of meeting you. It would appear that the others have also grown fond of your company. I believe that one of them might even have eyes for you. Who, you ask? <laughs> Yet another question for our nighttime mistress. You look rather tired. Shall we call it a night? No. <laughs> Was that a yawn I saw? We can stay a little while longer. Are you set on knowing who fancies you? Is it so surprising that someone as marvelous as you not catch in the eye of everyone you meet? Do you truly see yourself so little? For someone who sees the hidden beauty of the garden, you seem to be blind to the beauty that is so prevalent in you. I speak the truth. There is a beauty you possess that you cannot see. Is that the self you are seeking? A self not to be discovered, but to be seen and accepted by you. If there is one thing I've learned, is that you can have all the praises, acceptance, and admiration the world can give. And it still wouldn't be enough. You must love yourself. I know how difficult that can be. Oftentimes, we have our own thorns in full view rather than the elegant flower. Flower. May I call you that? As a reminder, to see the beauty and not just the thorns. <laughs> I, I deem we should turn in for the night. It's getting late, and we did stay in the garden a little longer. Take my arm. I will escort you to your bedchamber.